Hi, my name is Victor Agreta Jr. and I am one of the contributors to DIY Life. wanted to show everybody a few things about using DIY Life, our website. Uh, if you look up here at the very top, you can see our logo. You can always click on this to come back to the home page. We have an excellent search engine here that will search either DIY Life or the web. You can send us a tip if you have any great crafting tips or hobby or construction tips. Please feel free to send us those. You can contact us. You can ask about advertising with us. If you see any corrections or problems with the site, please contact us. And you can also subscribe to our RSS feed, which is a news feed that you can get in your browser or a feed reader so that you can see everything that's coming online every day uh, in sort of an automatic way. Right here at the very top is the categories. These are actually sort of the category categories. If you click on these, they will expand out and you can actually see that we have quite a few categories in each section. So we have home and family, we have quite a few things like fix it, preventive maintenance, staying green, toys, and under home improvement we have your typical stuff that you might find at one of those uh, hardware stores, right? Electrical, kitchen, plumbing, and so forth. Hobbies and crafts, we've got things like music and jewelry making, photography, soap making, and tech robotics, computers, electronics, and a category we call Geek It Yourself, which is sort of making things that are electronics or making things electronic work for you. If you scroll down just a little bit here, you can see there's our sort of statement. We have featured projects, and these will change every day. We have, of course, our posts. You can always click to continue reading. The permalink is the actual link for that particular blog post, so if you wanted to right-click on it, let's say, you would be able to then copy uh, that link and send it to a friend or you can just use our email this button and actually send it to someone. You can click on comments and of course it will take you to the actual blog post page itself again this is also the permalink and if you scroll down you can see that we have quite a few annotations on this and if you add a comment you'll come down here and you'll put your name and your email uh, if you've already validated comments in the past, then you will get you can put your email and the password that we sent to you, and you can have it remember you. Uh, you can have it email you when someone replies to that comment, and you can add your comments in here. When you click on add comments, a little thing that will pop up will say uh, congratulations or you did it, and it will send you an email. And you'll need to check your email box and make sure that you click on that to uh, to validate that comment so that it does appear on our website. Now back to the main page here, and again, most of these things are all on this on the main page as well. Uh, let's actually go back to that blog post. There we go. And what we can see here is we have we're going to have pin boxes up here with some regular things as we build out some more features and whatnot. Right now, we have our tool extravaganza contest running for several more weeks, and so you can click on that and get all the latest information on the contest. Underneath that, you see tags. And tags are a little bit different than categories. You can see that we have categories that are sort of hardwired, but the tags are actually there that are things that we think that maybe don't need a category, but help organize and help you actually find things. So for instance, free. Everybody loves free stuff. So if you click on that, you'll see everything that we have that has been tagged, that each blogger has added that specific word uh, to their post and so that you can actually find that and you can find things that are art specific. Uh, if we find enough of these that you know the people are posting with these tags we may turn them into categories but for right now this is dynamic also so as we add tags you'll see this constantly rotating out. Uh, if you'll notice we have one here that says slash food. Uh, this is something that would probably also you know you might see it on slash food or maybe we took it from slash food we've got Engadget on here. These are things that again uh, are dynamic and we'll be adding and subtracting those as we see. So you see our bloggers and if you click on any of these names you'll go to the posts all by that blogger and then below you can see that we have galleries and you can click on any one of these and it will take you to a gallery page. Now this is the most commented in the past week. You can see that right now really our contest which you enter by leaving a comment uh, is getting you know mo majority of the comments but we have a few other things going on too this will work itself out over time as well and then you see the rest of the blogs that we have around the weblogs network. At the very bottom of the page you see of course all our copyright information. You can notify us if, there, if you see anything weird going on uh, in addition to the link up top. 
However, we also have this grid at the bottom that shows you some other websites that you may be interested in. These are sort of features and these are dynamic headlines that are fed in, uh, I think, on an hourly basis. And so you can see some of the other blogs around the network that you may be interested in. And that is pretty much it. The real key to remember is that whenever you come into DIY Life and you want to organize, or you want to sort of customize your experience, always feel free to come in and click on these. And I'm going to click on Fix It just to show you what this looks like. And so now this is actually showing me only the things that are Fix It category. You can see actually filed under. These are all the categories. So it's also filed under Tools. Uh, these are all the contests, of course, so far, but there we go. There's a fix-it one. Drywall repairs so don't have to be scary. Hot glue. These are little fix-it items here. These tools also happen to be pretty good for fix-it, so that's why we labeled those. So, you can search, you can filter, you can try tags, and then you can look at the featured projects each day. And we hope that you keep coming back for DIY Life every day. Thanks.